Hi everyone, my name is Luis Camargo. I am the founder of LC Labs and the main developer of Raster. So on today's video, we are going over the issue and flow in Raster. Right now I have Raster open already on the landing page and my first step will actually be select the art token I want to use. So let's go with USD for today's video. The first thing I see after selecting USD, it is overview screen, which tell me more about the USD itself. Let's go with the min plus redeem screen, which is the one I am interested for this video. And this is the issuance screen. Basically on this mint box, this is where all the magic happens. You select the amount you want to mint. Uh, let's go select 10. Um, you click mint, you approve the transaction and that's it. But uh, how, how this work? So how our token works is that one our token is confirmed by any amount of collateral, in this case for USD, it's confirmed by these four collateral, which are Aave USDC, Compound USDC, Aave USDT, Compound USDT. Um, if I want to mint 10 USD, I will require the equivalent amount in the collateral. So basically, I will require, uh, because USD is equal to a dollar, uh, we need $10 on these four collaterals um, for actually minting $10 of USD. So when I fill the minting amount, there I see that in the UI, the amount you require for each collateral is calculated. So you will know how much do you need. And of course, if you go over the limit, it will also tell you how much you require. But now let's go and mint the 10 USD. Click mint. I need to approve the collateral. I also see here how much collateral do I need. And I need to do the approval. Let's go with this one. Let's go with 200 for each. So easier. Next, next. Because I have four collateral, I actually need to do four different approval transactions. And after all the approvals are done, I have my, I can actually start minting. Now let's run, let's run the mint transaction. Confirm, transaction sign, transaction confirm. And I see now that I have that balance on my wallet. So that's basically how minting works. You can also see like the global minting max also change. Now this is a maximum well, a limit that is set block by block. This is for security purpose. Um, yeah, this is basically what issuance looks like. But and I don't know, this looks complicated, right? You need to actually look for all the four collateral. Imagine that you have like 10 different collaterals that you need to acquire and then do 10 different transaction approvals then do the, the transaction itself. It sounds complicated because it is. That's why there is an easy way of, of doing this thing which is called SAPS. SAPS at the end of this video is a beta, beta feature. It's actually quite robust already, so feel free to use it. And how SAPS work is that all this same process happens, but it happens inside a, a smart contract. And for the user itself, it will look like Uniswap or Curve, where you select the token that you want to use. Let's go with USDC. Um, you input an amount, let's, you, let's go with then. And it gives you a quote for 10 USDC, you will get 9.98 USD. Click mint. It's already approved. You confirm the transaction. And that's it. Really easy, right? We also call it easy mint because it is really easy. And that's how you do issuance, both the normal way and the sad way. Cheers.